This one's called Pictures. If you crash a car into best friend's house, would you be quiet as words came out of them? Um, we saw on your Twitter just this morning that you've been in Fallowfield. How uh, I've been in Fallow crunchy chicken? Yeah, well I've been in um, I've been in Fallowfield in the past a little bit. Yeah. Older than this morning, it's just more of a kind of reminiscing observation. Because yeah. obviously as a as a student radio station. Well they spell it with K. Yeah. What's but that about? Just to make it different. <laughs> when anyone famous picks up on Fallowfield and student lifestyle in general, everyone goes a bit mental. Oh really? So it, you get points for okay. knowing about crunchy well, chicken. I, I, do like, I just remember there's always loads of them. there's loads of crunchy chickens and I spell it with a K. And I remember kind of, you know, when you get hungry at like two in the morning, you go and you look for some food and yeah. that's the place you go. It's like it's like Nando's when you're drunk. Yeah. Well obviously I've never done this, but you could steal one of the bottles of the sauce. Obviously. Take, you know. Have you ever done that? No, I've never done From that. From Nando's. <laughs> Have they given you like a Nando's gold card and stuff? No, like I tried to get one. Ed Sheeran got one, but I'm not as good as him, so. Can I have a Nando's gold card? I'm not good as um, Yeah, so you've played in Manchester a couple of times before. Yeah. Um, usually when we speak to sort of like rock cats or like DJs and stuff, they always talk about how there's a great buzz around Manchester and stuff. Do you get yeah. this sort of same experience totally. as a yeah, singer totally out of it here. Um, yeah. I like the student vibe. Like everyone seems to be, you know, in a good kind of mindset at shows and it's always really fun and um, you know I'm lucky that I come here and I play shows and they're full I like what's the park in Fallowfield? Yeah that's yeah. it. I like going there in, in the early hours of the morning and just chilling and listening to music so. You're doing quite a lot of uh, sort of smaller venues on this tour. I've seen that you've just got um, Shepherd's Bush yeah, um, yeah. for the start yeah. of next year. Do you feel, I mean how do you feel from sort of taking your music from sort of more intimate locations to something as grand a scale as that? Um, it feels good, like you know, I'm I'm ambitious and I wanna I 
I want to play in nice venues in Sheffield Bush, it's obviously like a classic venue. Um, on that tour, so doing the academy here, mm -hmm. um, which I'm looking forward to. And um, yeah, you know, it feels good. I've played like I've played to big crowds before at festivals, but this is going to be the first time I kind of do my own tour. And, and, uh, do you sort of, when you know that you're going to be doing something on a bigger scale, do you sort of shake like the production up a bit uh, no, in terms bit. of how you play the songs and everything like that? Yeah, I mean. The album that I've released is kind of acoustic based, it's kind of minimal in terms of production, but you know, I'm going to take a, band, a, a small band out with me, and like a percussionist and maybe a, an extra guitarist and um, hopefully a backing singer as well. Yeah. What's, what else is the most bad man thing you've done? <laughs> Eating a crunchy chip. Eating a crunchy chip. No, um, I don't think that I've done. I don't know, anything will be added to be on this tour? No. Waiting for my oh, when did you stop the game? Oh. oh yeah, in Sheffield. It's really quiet. Um, there's about 250 people there, really quiet. There's just this one guy in the front row um, talking and his phone went off while I was playing a song. And I was like, I'm not going to say anything, people forget to turn their phones off. Uh, but then he picked up and started having a conversation. No, no, no. So didn't. yeah, he did. And I, I, so I stopped, I just stopped playing the song. I was just like, what are you doing? So, yeah. And then, yeah, and then Par Clash Magazine wrote that I looked, I looked at him with a bullish look in my <laughs> Well, yeah, so obviously the new single, Shine, it's out at the start of next month. Yeah. Um, what are your sort of plans for after, obviously you've got the tour coming up and stuff like that, where do you go on from there? Um, hopefully touring up until Christmas, got a couple of European shows hopefully, um, might be into Hong Kong for a couple of nights to do it, and a festival mm -hmm. out there, um, and then hopefully America as well at some point. Fantastic. Before Christmas. Have you yeah. been to America before? I have, but I've never yeah. played shows there. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and then after Christmas, I want to go away to the Lake District um, and rent a house for a little, um, for just like a couple of weeks, and record some new music. Nice. Cheers, mate. All the best for the gig tonight, nice and for the rest of the tour. Cheers very much. Okay, would you rather crash a car into someone's house or have atlases for hands? <laughs> <laughs> What would be the good? There'd be nothing good about crashing a car. There'd be nothing house. good about having atlas as well. <laughs> <laughs> you could play guitar. Oh, that's ah, a good yeah, you'd, you'd be out of a job. Would be over. Yeah, that's well, maybe <laughs> maybe you'd make a job as like an explorer. Do you know? I'd probably crash a car so I could get a reputation of like a bad man. <laughs> <laughs>